Constitution protects all of us regardless of any of those affiliations. Constitutional police reform. Mandatory uh, constitutional training in the academy and ongoing throughout their careers of all, all law enforcement uh, in the state of Arizona. Make it illegal for law enforcement to lie to you about your, your constitutional rights. Um, and um, make it mandatory for complaint forms and FOIA request forms to be in the lobby of every uh, police station in the state of Arizona. Forget the hate. Find the common ground of tyranny and fight it together. Hope everybody's going to have a good day today. It is uh, currently, uh, let's see, time and temperature. It's Friday, January 7th. Uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, it is currently 535, and it is about 46 degrees. It's been a brutal winter here in Arizona, uh, if you didn't know. I mean, we've almost got down to freezing uh, this winter, so... Wow. But that's why I don't live uh, out in the, in the Midwest or back East. I don't like the, uh, the cold. I don't like to shovel it. I don't like to plow it. But uh, here in Arizona, we got uh, pools, blenders, and air conditioning. So, well, hey, everybody, thanks for dropping in. I just wanted to do uh, a little video here. Uh, it shouldn't take that long. Um, on my thoughts on what exactly am I talking about when I talk about constitutional police reform? So, let me put it out there. Let me uh, tell you guys what I'm talking about. What is constitutional police uh, reform? Simply put, policing with a constitutional mindset of servitude. Um, and what do I mean by that? By basically putting the, the Constitution in, at the center of every decision an officer makes. It should be uh, discussed in the, every meeting, every training scenario, uh, just like officer safety. Um, and it should be just as important as, uh, if not more, than officer safety. Why are we here when it comes to the relationship between the uh, the community and, and the police, right? So I've got some uh, some thoughts on that. Uh, first, I think policing, uh, like like most government, has lost sight of this, uh, of one simple fact: that they serve the people. Right. It's not just the job that they go to that's uh, making money for some corporation. I know everybody, there's going to be opinions on, on that statement, but uh, just look at it in a commercial sense, right? So you're going to work to serve the people, to serve your neighbors, to serve your family, right? These are the people that you actually serve when you go to work every day. Uh, and in my opinion, every public servant should be a mole for the people. <laughs> Right. We every 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 one of you who work, uh, who have a, a government funded job should be looking for seeking out and blowing the whistle on corruption uh, in your workplace. Uh, that's my opinion. But, you know. Again, they just lost sight of that one simple fact. They serve the people. Uh, policing lacks patience. Right. So. Law enforcement would rather use intimidation and force to resolve a situation than take the opportunity to build a relationship with the community. Sure, it's going to uh, task your patience, Mr. Law Enforcement Officer. Um, it's going to take longer. It's not going to be as easy mentally on you uh, to, to use de-escalation, to build a relationship with the community. Um, but that's your number one job in my opinion, before even uh, enforcing laws, dealing with safety, it's building a relationship with the community. And because of that, it's, it's basically resulted in an us against them mentality on both sides, right? So the, the police think every, everybody's against them. And uh, the, a good portion of society thinks that, uh, that law enforcement is against us. And I think it's uh, it's turning that way very rapidly. And if we don't get back to the foundation, constitutional foundations, uh, with that relationship between us and the police, it's uh, we're in big trouble. I like this one. The community that employs the police that serves them have become more educated than many of the officers. As technology has evolved and the relationship between the community is diminished, see, 
a little convoluted in my thought there, but I, I, I hope you get it. Um, we're becoming more educated as citizens. We as citizens are getting more and more information, access to us, learning how to uh, access public records, study case law, um, record and document our experiences with government. And this one is probably the most important. Police have forgotten that when they make a mistake, it costs a citizen dearly. Um, even when a citizen is innocent, you know, they have to go to jail, you know, potentially a seizure or impoundment of property, attorneys, time off work, if not loss of job. Um, there's just so many things and the police nowadays just have the attitude that, oh, well, that's what court's for. Well, you have to understand, uh, Mr. Officer, the impact that you're having on people's lives. And it's boiled down to that the police have more protections than the citizens they serve. How do we fix it? We bring the Constitution to the center of a police center, even more so than officer safety. Police should be trained from the very beginning and in great detail about the protections of the constitutions and the reasons why our founding fathers were against the type of policing we're experiencing today. I think our founding fathers would be uh, turning over their graves uh, with what's going on. Now, why should uh, everyone be behind this constitutional police reform? Let me tell you. Think about it. The political right is all about the Constitution and limited government amongst many other things, but that's the one we're, lo we're looking at, right? The political left is all about limited policing among many other things. But anybody else see the common ground? So we're not gonna get to a constitutional utopia the way the political right wants us to get, right? The political left isn't gonna get to defunding the police. We have to have good police officers. We have to have good law enforcement, but good constitutional law enforcement that uh, at the bread and butter of it is, uh, is the constitution, the protection of our rights. Um, so I leave you with this. Forget the hate. This isn't about politics, right? There is a common ground here for the political left, political right, and uh, us independents, and uh, all across the political, religious, racial spectrum to find common ground. And the Constitution protects all of us, regardless of any of those affiliations. So forget the hate, find the common ground to tyranny and fight it together, all right? You can work on those other issues separately, whatever they may be, but, uh, Find the common ground of tyranny and let's fight it together. So, constitutional police reform, mandatory uh, constitutional training in the academy and ongoing throughout their careers of all, all law enforcement uh, in the state of Arizona. Make it illegal for law enforcement to lie to you about your, your constitutional rights. Um, and um, make it mandatory for complaint forms and for your request forms to be in the lobby of every uh police station in the state of arizona so that's what i believe constitutional police reform is that's what i'm fighting for that's what i've met my, with my legislatures about um you know i'm just beginning this this uh, uh fight to to change some laws and uh keep everybody posted but i i wanted to give everybody just kind of foundation of where my head is at on uh what i think constitutional police reform is what i'm fighting for and uh i hope you get behind me and behind this fight uh please like share and subscribe um and contact your legislature that's more important than contacting or like sharing and subscribing in my my stuff so uh, get involved in the process have a good day people be good humans